Guess what, we're back. See if I can do this right. Cut that out the other day, it's May 25th. Came in the afternoon, there's no sun over here, it's a little bit cooler. I'm in Webster, Massachusetts, it's about, uh, probably like the mid 60s right now. Um, actually probably the highest 60s, 70, but it's a nice breeze over here coming through here. So I opened them up a couple days ago and removed some of the comb to get some room. I got the bee vacuum and so forth. And when I take the comb out, I'm gonna put those in the frames, plastic pan, because I noticed that I was getting eggs towards the end. So I'd rather have them feel comfortable and stay in place and I have a bunch of crappy frames anyways that I can uh, put the comb in. So let's get at it. I'm gonna shoot up, crawl up and figure this out. Let's find that queen. Let's save these bees. Let's do it. All right, so here's the situation. Okay, seven, seven comb left. I took uh, three out earlier, a couple days ago, just to open it up. They've been open for about two days, so they're a little flighty and it's getting late. So let's get into it. I think the best thing I'm gonna do is just start vacuuming the bees and uh, hopefully locate the queen. Okay, so we're working at it. The bees are grouping up on the outside here. Notice a lot of drones inside this colony. So, just working with it. Put the bee back hanging. Now I'm just hanging on. That's all. Set up is right there in the truck. Cut the combs, put them in the empty frames. Makes it easier when you cut the honey off the top and leave a little bit. That way it's not so messy. So, and then eventually we'll get to this one. That's going to be called L2, Lefty 2. Okay, we'll keep you updated. We're getting there. I think we're down to two. I've seen no sign of a queen, which always happens at the very end. So I am a little nervous about that hole right there, where it looks like the colony was coming before. I'm just hoping that they're all right in this cavity. And I am seeing a lot of drones, which makes me nervous, but I don't see double eggs in the cell. Uh, this is all old comb, so there was a lot of drone comb, but it looks to be pretty even. So we'll see. Well, we did it. Legit last comb in the corner. We have ourselves big old queen. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but we got it and the drones are going crazy. So, I mean, look at them all. I think if we get her into a new setup and it's regular comb, she can be laying drones. We will see. Cut out seven, I believe, I don't even know. Seven, we're gonna call it uh, R1, right? one so I'm not sure it happened but um, the queen was inside the top of the uh, bucket here the BVAC um, and she died I don't I don't know how she died I don't know what happened she was right next to the bees the bees were right there it's the first time I ever had a queen a queen die. <clears throat> That's, that stinks. Something I wanted. So I'm gonna have to get a queen now. But I'll dump these these girls and boys in and get them a new queen. That's too bad. I don't, I don't like that. I guess I guess it happens. I don't know. I caught her. She was fine last night and. Not doing good today, so I'll dump them in and uh, get moving on. We're on the last, this is number five for the Simons Bee Yard Apiary.
comb. It's gonna cut out from their hive. surrounding the queen. You see, they're surrounding the queen, trying to get to her. So, I will put this in there for now, I think. So. All right, this is five. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Webster Cutout R one.